It's a brand new... Hey, what the... <laughs> it's a brand new start to the day, and I forgot that last night Tim discovered confetti machines, and he put them all over my yard, but I kind of love that they're, like, spitting out of the trees, <laughs> so, so this is fine. But you know what? He did also bring some building materials, which is very, very helpful. So we'll just pick these up. I do like them coming out of the trees, though. I think it's kind of funny. I also gave myself a bunch of stuff from South Perry because I was like, I need things. I need stuff. So I'm just going to get some stuff. So I got some stuff for my house because my house has been really sad. And I feel like... I should definitely probably do something for my house. So maybe we can do that today. But there has been... Oops. There has been huge changes to South Perry. We got a little mushroom lamp. This isn't South Perry. There's been huge changes to Orn. There we go. I'm already mixing them up. So you're like, okay, what are the changes? I added some hedges back here. Don't mind all the trash on the ground, but... We have added so much stuff over here, and I'm really excited to show the cafe off because this has been a huge work in progress. I think in the last update, we only saw like the caved in area. So check it out. We have a nice little multi-tier building with a little cafe. I still need to put some seating right here, but there's even somebody at the cash, cash register, so it's really, really cute, and I'm super excited about this particular area. I'm really happy with how the fencing and how the lattice is growing up and the way the buildings look. I just, like, I'm really, really happy with it, so I'd say this was well worth the effort that I put into in the middle of the night, and I'm just so, like I said, I'm just so happy with how it looks, and it's really cute. I did push this cliff out a bit, but I think I'm going to put Sampy's house back here. And he's going to have a little library. I added some vending machines here, and I changed this pathway. I also designed a little grate, like a little sewer grate, because I didn't... It was too... There was too much, like, blocks, so I was like, I need something here to break it up. And I feel like this is a, a kind of... I've seen this on other islands, and I thought it would be cool to try and make my own, so... And then up here, we have the Able Sisters. They're officially here. And Brofina's up here now. And she even has her own little spot. And then we have just some decorative items over there. I don't know if they'll stay there or not. I've been still debating on it, but I think it looks fine for now. I haven't done anything back here yet. But that's really what I've been working on. Pretty hardcore on this side of the island, so... Oh, our store upgraded. So for some reason, I'm a dingus, and I completely forgot that, you know, we started this update video session, like this this island in January, and 30 days have gone by. And so my worry about Nook's Cranny not opening was for nothing. And we get all of our Festivale stuff. Thanks, guys. Thanks, boys. Oh, look at that. I need one of these. I don't have any music player in my house. Yes. Very good. Ooh, I kind of like this, too. I'm trying to do... So one thing I'm really bad about in Animal Crossing is putting stuff on the wall. Like, I never buy any of the wall items. I just kind of forget about them. So this this island is a, a time for change. I'm also going to buy this. All right. We can actually put that in our house now. Let's go check for rugs and wallpaper. I'm very lacking in that department, so we'll see. Ooh, I like this one. I love the, the sunflowers on the chic wall. I might have to use that in my bedroom. But I do also, oops, I do also really like this curtain, like this wall. So we'll get this one as well. I'm not a fan. I do like the ship deck, but I don't feel like it'll match with any, especially like that shade of brown isn't going to match with anything. So we'll just pass on that. And now let's go put some stuff in my house. You know what? While we're on this side of the island, I feel like we should go check on Tin's area. So we're going to head on down and see what Tinner's been up to. Let's see. Ooh! So he actually moved his house back. Oh, hey. And he put a Main Street Road 
all the way over here. So he's definitely kind of urbanizing this this little area, which is really nice because it goes so well. He also fenced off his um, sacrificial area. I think we can... Oh, there it is. We can kind of see it from here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's looking really good. Let's Let's go inside. Oh, wow. Someone's been busy with their muns. It looks good. I like his bug collection. Uh, I like how he can just sit here and stare at the bug collection. It's awfully dark in here. But, I mean, you know. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Very cool. I like how Lucha's just, like, working out real hard right here. You can do it, Lucha. You can do it, Lucha. You got this. Yeah. Work it. I'll, 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 I'll cheer you on. There you go. You got this. Very good. <laughs> so, he has been terraforming back here. <laughs> As you can see, there's, uh, um... Some modern art design with a bit of, of balloon aesthetics up here. So that's pretty cool. He did ask me to show off his hard work by using a ladder and showing you guys how innovative he is with his design. I don't know the best path to go, but we're just gonna go like this. I missed one! <laughs> this is actually really fun. I kind of love this. It's the halftime Super Bowl show! Hooray! Oh wait, you know what I should do? That's not it. Which one is it? Uh, this one. Cha cha cha! Very nice. That would be a really fun obstacle course. I'll go pick up the trash. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. This is cool. Oh, well, you know what? You know what you do? When the trash can's full, you just apparently just drop it back on the ground. Can I sell these? Can I sell these used fireworks? We should go find out. Let's go check. All right, boys, I have the best stuff for you. Nothing but quality from the native island of Orn. This is Orn exclusive. Okay, there. Yes, I can get money for them. They're paying me to recycle. All right, so I think what I'm going to do for back here is uh, just knock this. See how we don't have like any weeds or anything back here? So I feel like this is a good spot to chip away our cliff a little bit. So let's just kind of speed through and start construction back here. Because the, the next thing I really want to do is kind of make an area back here that's a little bit more interesting. We're going to keep a lot of the ponds and stuff on the left side of this cliff, but the right side of this cliff I really want to just knock down. Okay, so I've definitely trimmed out this whole area. I made a little river down there, so this eventually will be a bridge, and I'll try to... I really want to try doing one of those forced perspective things with that area down there, because I think it would be really fun to try, and it'll look nice. So my plan is to move Poppy's house up here and kind of make this into a treehouse-style area. Um, there's some really great videos all over and Pinterest pictures and Instagram pictures of tree houses. So I just really wanted to try it for myself, but I'll add another bridge going this way because there's so much room over here. We can probably end up adding another villager over here eventually because we only have eight villagers right now. So that's kind of the game plan for now. I don't know if it'll change or not, but I think it'll be really nice to have Poppy's house over here. We'll make some fencing, we'll put up some lattice, and we'll just make it look very nature-y over here, for sure. 
But yeah, and then we'll probably widen this out so the bridge is one wider and put like a little fence post in front of it just to make it fit a little better. But I'm actually really happy with how the terraforming came out. I'm always a little nervous terraforming, especially when I have features I really like. So I kept the original lake here and I kept as many original trees as I could. Also just connecting the lake with a tiny little stream like that I think will look really nice. So yeah, that's uh that's what where Poppy will be moving to. And then we'll end up having this little area down here for a proper orchard, I think. And it'll look really nice. Okay, let's go show you guys what happened in the house and how it's coming along. So I finally unblocked my door and surprise surprise by moving my furniture, it looks even more empty in here. <laughs> but Dorian is still very happy. He has a little plant. We have some music finally because we bought this earlier. And some cute decorations. I did get another sofa to put over here, somewhere in here. Did I not pick it up? I didn't pick it up. This is okay, it's fine. But I did open up this back room. Bum -ba -da -da. It's my bedroom. I'll probably place the mirror over here. But I had this old couch over here. I don't remember how I got this or why, but I thought it was kind of fun. I still have my rustic bed. I'm probably gonna swap out this desk for a different one, but for now it looks cute. And I think I can put stuff on it too. Maybe I have a succulent. Oh, there's the double sofa. Nope, I think it must be in my storage. Let's see if we can find it. There it is. We'll put this on the desk. Oh, I can't put it on this desk. Well, you know what? That's enough to say, forget that desk. We're gonna go for the other desk I have in my pocket. Let's put the teacher desk here. Did I drop it? I must have left it outside, but that's okay. I still have my succulent on the floor. He's doing great. He'll stay here until I can get that desk. <laughs> so I'm thinking for this area, I might actually trim this mountain back. Because I really like this. I like that there's like a pool of water in the cliff. And I think it would be really fun to kind of have these pools of water in a wider space to get to the secret beach. Obviously this side is tin side so he can decide what to do with it, but I think I'm gonna trim this side back more so I can do that with the rest of this cliff, maybe over in this corner too. I think that'd be really fun, so we'll figure it out. Um, I'm leaving all of Bon Bon's area up for tin to decorate, all of Boots' area for tin to decorate because I kind of took over this side of his near this shop and here. So it's just kind of, it's kind of like a zigzag instead of a straight line, but that's okay. But yeah, I think that's about it. We'll hang out with these two, these two hangout buddies. And uh, thank you guys for hanging out. I know this update was a little bit shorter, but I hope you enjoyed it regardless. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Bye.